How do winds form? Let's learn together. The sun's rays don't heat the earth evenly. Regions near the equator receive more sunlight than those at higher latitudes. This, in turn, causes air temperatures to vary across different areas. Keep in mind that warm air rises and cold air sinks. Because its molecules move faster, warm air becomes lighter than the cooler air around it and rises. The cooling air, on the other hand, becomes denser and sinks back down toward the ground. Air pressure is the weight of the air pressing down on a given surface. When warm air rises and is replaced, we'll see pressure decrease in some areas and increase in others. The difference between the high pressure zones formed by cold air masses and the low pressure zones formed by warm air masses causes air to move. Notice how air flows from areas of high pressure to areas of low pressure. This very flow is what we feel as wind. Keep in mind, the greater the pressure difference, the faster the wind will blow. With small differences, you'll feel a gentle breeze. With large differences, powerful winds will form. Notice how the land heats up quickly, causing the air above it to rise. The air over the sea stays relatively cooler, creating a low pressure area. Because of this difference, a gentle breeze blows from the sea toward the land. This is called a sea breeze. Conversely, you'll see that the land cools quickly while the sea holds onto its warmth. This causes a breeze to flow from the land out toward the sea. This is called a land breeze. Notice how during the day, when mountain slopes warm in the sun, the air rises, and the cool air from the plains moves up toward the slopes. At night, the slopes cool off, and the chilled air flows back down. These are called slope winds. You also find global wind systems like the trade winds, the westerlies, and the polar winds, along with the Coriolis effect. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications for new information. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching and learning.